Welcome to day 12. Today we'll be talking about wild animals. No, not these cute ones. No, not this one that's pretending to be something else. But this one. The one that pretends to be something it is, but it ain't. So today we'll be talking about El Gato. Purchase this item right here because I need it for everything I'm doing lately. And since we are in these different times, I need to be able to go live be able to stream and whatnot so I mostly got it so I can do my networking events so I'm gonna set it up in my computer but before we do so I'm also gonna clean it up I need to clean that litter box that litter box is filthy my backyard is full of dirt and we're in the process of fixing that aspect of it so we can uh, make it all grass the pets bring all that dust in and the computer does a really great job at sucking it all up so Today I'm going to clean it up. It's been about a month since I cleaned it up. You'll see how much dust that thing has in within a month. Your computer is the same. It's something you got to take care of and open up. If you have a Mac, you got to find a way to open it at least weekly or so. So you can get so you can run smoother, quieter, and uh, be more efficient at dispersing the heat. I also got this item here, which is a vacuum. It works very nice. It's very nice. It lasts about, I would say, half an hour non-stop and then you have to recharge it. Recharging takes about a good hour. When you're cleaning, the dust kicks up and you need a way to suck it up. I don't want to get this place all dusty and everything, so I need to find a way for it to be sucked up without going in anywhere, everywhere. The good thing about it is that it comes with a reusable filter. So let's install this guy, this little kitty of a device, the 4K60 Pro onto my computer, which runs Windows 10. We're gonna get it running. I'm gonna tell you basically if it's worth having that peripheral on your computer. tether up the Nikon Z6 to the computer to see how well it works. I'm not really going to go much into it on uh, how the whole process is because there's various devices that you need to incorporate it. I'm going to focus on 
how well does this device capture for anything you want to do other than YouTubing? So, for example, will it work with Zoom? Will it work with any, everything else? So, those items, uh, I'm going to test it out and tell you guys what I think. The video is being captured right now on Zoom. There's two problems, though. This thing works, but the audio doesn't work. So, the audio, you have to actually connect it directly to the PC through its microphone jack for it to sync in directly like that. But that's the only way to get it to work. If you're using it like I'm used to through the jack on the P on the Z6, it does not work. I'm not sure if it doesn't recognize this camera. The only way you can use it is within within the Elgato uh, software. And that's, uh, where is it? I had it around here. There we go. Uh, it's 4K capture utility, all of those guys. With, with that, it works. You can, as soon as you put it through, as you guys can see here, you guys will be, able, will be able to see it. See, two two images, no problem. This one will capture audio directly to it, but it's only to capture. So if you want to record directly onto this computer, you can, which will be great. But see, now I'm getting feedback because it comes out through the speakers. So I'm going to take that down. If you capture through the camera onto this software, it's basically like recording onto the camera, but much more basic because... It, it just it's mostly meant for it to work with for broadcasting or like you know streaming and stuff like that so it's not that great for that um there's another feature within this capture utility here which let me see if i can get to it uh, i go settings here if you have this enable uh enable flashback recording as soon as you start speaking or it, or it hears any type of sound it starts recording so it's kind of like a pain in the butt so i disabled it because otherwise it all oh, it's always recording and it's wasting a whole bunch of memory so I took that off right now it took me quite some time to figure that out but I took that off and so I'm able to do this right now with these right now and speak to you guys and it's recording but how I'm recording right now it's actually I'm capturing the whole screen so I'm recording with a computer some screen capturing right now on the computer itself other than that you can't really use it so I tried using a capture in Premiere it does not detect it as well I'm using a beta here it doesn't work I tried it on the regular version right now the the regular Premiere, it does not work either. So you can't capture within Premiere either. This is what I wanted it for, for Zoom. So for Zoom, it works. And uh, as long as I hook up my mic, which is right here, and I hook it up directly through the jack. Other than that, it will not work. So it's got its... Uh, the cool thing about it is that you could use it on your computer with like some modifications, but you can't use it directly through it uh, just like this. I mean, like... If you want to use it to record yourself, yeah, it works if you want to use this software here. If you want to use it to work with other software that's not native to Elgato, then it will not work. Um, for some reason, it doesn't work. And, uh, maybe there's someone out there that knows how to make it work. I don't know. But if you do know how to use it, please leave me a comment and tell me how to work, go about it and work it. And if you know how to use this with Premiere, that'll be even nicer because I try making it work right now. And there's no way of making it work. It doesn't even recognize the card at all. This is it for me. Thank you. Uh, let's hope we can get this done. As you guys can see in the time capture, if you're watching, it's 3.40. I got an hour and 20 minutes to load this video. So let's see if I can get it up there right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 5 p.m. Give me some uh, ideas, please, in the, in the comments below as to maybe what I can do by tomorrow or the days to follow. Thank you. See you.